Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and today we made this delicious fall off the bone beef short ribs. This is Korean barbecue style bulgogi. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And shout out to Eat Spice with Tea for this sauce. Now let's get into the video. Make and sing and share and cooking tutorials. Welcome, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the sauce doctor. We are take over tonight. Sauce doctor, sauce doctor. Welcome back to Adrian cooking and food reviews. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be making some Korean barbecue bulgogi beef short ribs. Oh my goodness. So I want to say shout out to Eat Spicy with T for sending me the bulgogi. All right, so as you can see, we have our beef short ribs. And what we want to do, we want to just trim off a little bit of the excess fat, because we're going to actually caramelize these fat in a skillet. And then you're under the bottom right here, you just want to take off that layer right there. I got four pieces. So that's how I want to clean my beef short rib. Cut away that excess fat. But this little fat just gonna make it taste even more delicious. Get on the here. extra fat all right so we're gonna go ahead and wash these with some lemon juice and vinegar in just a moment all right so now we're gonna be washing our beef short ribs we're gonna go in with some lemon juice and some vinegar and when you're washing your beef short ribs you just want to create get rid of that excess fat this cuts fat and it also just make the meat have a nice clean taste. Okay. Just wanna rinse the meat and we're gonna pat it dry and we'll be right back. All right, so to season our beef short ribs, we're not gonna go crazy with the spices because we're gonna use the bulgogi marinade, but as you know, I like to just put a little bit more seasoning on my stuff, just so I make sure, because I love seasoning, okay? So we're going on with a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, all right? Some onion powder, some ground jerk seasoning, we're not going crazy because we want the bulgogi flavor to come through. Some black pepper. And we're gonna cook these in the pressure cooker because we wanted them to go fast, okay? We don't have all day to be in the kitchen. If you don't have a pressure cooker, of course, you can braise these in the oven. And then last but not least, our Badia complete seasoning. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna just go in just rub that meat up, get that seasoning all over. Get that flavors popping. Mm, mm, mm. All right, then we're gonna go on with our bulgogi. 
there and there. And just rub it on it. Rub it on it. Rub it, rub it on it. This smells really good. So we're gonna cover this and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let this marinate and then we're gonna go over to the stove, kind of caramelize the fat on these and then put them in our pressure cooker. So I'll see you in just a right, few. So our beef short rib been marinated for the last about an hour. We got some oil in our pan right here. We're gonna put it Side down. We want to get that fat kind of caramelized. And once we get this caramelized, then we're going to come back, mix a little bit of our bulgogi and some warm water. And we're gonna pressure cook this for a few minutes, so we'll be right back. All right, let's check on these beef short ribs. Look at that caramelization. Oh my, my. And you definitely wanna go stick around for the part two, which is gonna be the mukbang, because these are gonna be eaten with some two times spicy noodles and some bile, bile, smackalicious sauce. So guys, the caramelization is looking good. We're gonna brown these a little bit more on the other side. And then we're gonna come with some more bulgogi marinade and some warm water, some garlic, thyme. And we're gonna let this go. All right, so we put some thyme and garlic in there. And that's just caramelization, so don't think we burned it. Okay, we didn't burn it. We didn't burn it. So we're gonna go in with a little bit more of our bulgogi. And of course, when we put it in, in the oven to kind of um, broil, to get that nice sticky crust exterior, we're gonna glaze it with some more bulgogi. All right, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So we're gonna go in with some warm water. The same container we marinated in. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, then we're gonna put on our lid and pressure cook for about 20 minutes, I would say, 20, 25 minutes. I've never cooked beef short ribs, but I'm assuming 20 minutes should be good in the neighborhood. All right, so stick around, because I'll see you in just a few. So I told you it's not burnt. Just look at that beautiful broth. This, this is all gonna cook in. Oh, my, my, my goodness. Look at that. So we're gonna put our lid on, and as we said, we're gonna pressure cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll see you in just a few. Once this finish and cool down, and we're gonna start glazing it to put it in our broiler. We'll see you then. All right. So our beef short rib is out of the pressure cooker. Just look how delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. It's already falling off the bone. So our au jus that we cooked it in, we're just gonna go over the top with a nice little glaze. We're just gonna put this in our oven underneath the broiler. Oh my. And let this just broil for a few minutes kind of create a nice little crust Ooh. oh my my guys i'm super excited so once these come out of the broiler we'll come back and show you the finished product oh my my look at that look at that glistening top Ooh. all right guys so this is our finished product just look how delicious tender juicy those bulgogi Korean barbecue ribs look, oh my, 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 woo. And that's the sauce right there, CJ's Food Korean Barbecue Bulgogi. Just look at that, mm. All right guys, so I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, 
What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always, say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click out the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas Mabang. Thank you, thank you for today. Love you guys. See you later.